This channel is dedicated to helping you understand the neuroscience of mental health problems and then share self-help techniques that may help you to overcome them. Our understanding about what causes mental health problems has gone through a revolutionary change in the last decade. Neuroscience has made some completely new and very surprising discoveries. Even such things as our gut bacteria control our mood, our resilience to stress and propensity to develop PTSD. New brain scans techniques have shown that the, the wiring or neuro circuits in the anxious, depressed and bipolar brain is actually different. In these videos we'll look at these new discoveries about what actually causes mental health problems and then how we can work on these root causes and overcome them using natural remedies, diets, brain training exercises and more. Think of it like this, there's probably not one single root cause of your mental health problem. It'll have multiple factors conspiring together to, let's say, overwhelm the neuroplastic abilities of your brain or something else. Now, what you can do is target and combat each of those those contributing causes, each of the elements, pull them out of your system to pull apart the condition, literally to dismantle it brick by brick, dismantle all the components that we know conspire together to create it. We we'll look at, for example, how healthy gut bacteria can positively influence our brain and mood, and then which specific probiotic bacteria would you want to take if you had anxiety or depression or bipolar disorder. Conversely, how an unhealthy gut with a leaky gut wall can trigger inflammation in the brain and this may either contribute to developing a mental health problem or preventing your recovery. How brain scans have shown in the anxious brain there is hyperactivity in some of the circuits that detect the perception of threat and how one of the most powerful things that you can do to overcome an anxiety disorder is use self-directed neuroplasticity plasticity to rewire your anxious brain. We look at how increased levels of inflammation in the brain are almost universally found in all mental health problems. That means to say if you're interested in this subject in these videos you probably have inflammation in your brain. We now know how the inflammation or the mechanism by which the inflammation causes mental health problems. It disrupts neurotransmitter metabolism on the one hand and on the other hand it actually strips out or prunes synapses from structures that control mood more quickly than your neuroplastic ability to repair and maintain those structures. This new understanding shows that depression for example is not having too little serotonin inside the synapses, individual synapses, but rather having too few serotonin synapses left after the inf inflammation has stripped or pruned them out to carry the serotonin. And then the target of treatment should be to stimulate neuroplasticity, eliminate the inflammation in the first place, then stimulate neuroplasticity to stimulate the regrowth and regeneration of synapses. And that is actually possible. And then following on from that, what you want to know is, well, where does this inflammation come from and how do I get rid of it? In 2012, I put together a new treatment program to target inflammation in the brain and reduce it on the one hand and on the other hand boost the production of BDNF and other neurotrophic factors to boost neuroplasticity levels. I did this to work on my own brain because I was having some loss of function in the parietal lobes and probably due to the bipolar disorder that I have and repeated waves of high glutamate levels that were unchecked for many years and that caused some brain damage. I did the treatment on myself for three months and the results were absolutely phenomenal. Since then I've introduced it to my practice and performed it on several hundred people. It turns out the brain is far more repairable than we ever imagined it was before. It's very very neuroplastic. Only if you set the conditions absolutely right though. So on the one hand the brain is highly repairable, on the other hand you have to put a lot of work in to make a significant change. Another breakthrough discovery has been we now know the mechanism whereby psychological stress and trauma interacts with the immune system to ramp up inflammation levels in the brain and then this attacks key structures in the brain that control mood. So we now have an understanding of how psychological distress 
causes depression and other mental health problems. This new understanding bridges the divide or actually fills in the gap between the biologists who say that mental health problems are all in the brain versus the psychologists who say that mental health problems are all in the mind. I'd like to bring you up to date and show you that this divide has actually been filled in. And for each of the topics I've just mentioned and more, we'll be looking at how you can combat them using natural remedies, diet and brain training techniques. And hopefully this is going to dismantle or at least diminish your mental health problem. I have bipolar disorder myself and I keep it completely under control without using drugs, using only these natural self-help techniques. I also used to have some anxiety and using brain training and good psychotherapy, I've completely overcome that now. My name is Peter Smith. I work as a functional medicine practitioner specializing in treating and coaching people with mental health problems, how to use diets, brain training techniques, natural remedies, and so forth to, if not fully overcome their problem, at least better manage it. Although I chose a drug-free route for myself, I'm not preaching a drug-free philosophy and under no circumstances should you discontinue any medicines that you need to keep you safe. I've been working on natural solutions for mental health problems for over 30 years now and I'm now beginning to share what I've learned in this YouTube channel and on my website. You can find links below. If you would like an answer to a specific question on mental health, ask me about it in the comments section. And if it's something I know about, you might just stimulate me to make a video answering that question. I'm posting videos weekly, so if this subject interests you, you might like to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click to the notifications bell. That way you won't miss an update. If you believe natural self-help techniques could help more people with mental health problems, then by subscribing to the channel and giving me a thumbs up, you help promote this channel and spread the word to other people. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.